good morning friends today we are going to discuss about the arithmetic progression class 6 mathematics chapter 5 you know that children it is very important part of your mathematics as far as your class 6 is concerned and it is very to, easy to understand if you the basic concept you get this how the formulas are derived how the concept is kept uh, in your mind that's the most important fact so let us see and see what is the fp actually fp or arithmetic progression otherwise called as a series of numbers in which each number is each number is added by a fixed number of number fixed number that means we can say the difference between the any two numbers the difference between any two numbers otherwise called terms is a constant value and that constant value may be positive negative or zero that means in a series of numbers in which each number the successive numbers are are produced by adding a certain type of uh, what so fixed numbers that fixed number is called the common difference or subtle d and the terms are uh, the numbers itself are uh, themselves are called the what terms so let us see what happens suppose 1 2 3 4 5 6 like this you see it is a series of numbers in which uh, each number you see 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 6 and you see the successive numbers are formed in this case the successive numbers are formed by adding one by adding one is it right that means we can say otherwise if we uh, take the difference between the second term minus uh, for first term then we will get one like this or uh, this term minus this term you will get one this to this you will get one means there is a fixed number so here the common difference a common difference to one the common difference shortly is called D. The common difference is called shortly D. And the first term, the first term is called what? A. And it is, you can say that each number in the series, each number in the series are called one one term. One one term. Otherwise, you can say A, uh, A1, A2, A3, A4, like this. And AN n number n number of terms you can say n otherwise it can be represented also t1 t2 t3 t4 t5 here tn this is the first term and this is the nth term is it right friends this is the each term uh, first term or a or t1 you can write term 1 and a n or term n is it right so this is the series in which uh, the general form of an AP you can then uh, convert it. If you will convert this AP in the form of AP, you can write the first term is AP, second term is A plus D, third term is A plus 2D, next term is A plus 3D. In this manner, if you go to N, you will find that A plus N minus 1 into D, this is called Nth term. And this format or this form of number is the called general form of AP general form of an AP arithmetic progression okay friends now let us see a uh, types of types of FPs. Generally, there are two forms of this. Suppose 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is 20 term. This is 20. So, this is called what? Finite FG. Finite FG. This is called finite FG. Having a finite term. So, it is the, the n term, the last term. Here we can say Tn equal to 20, or which can be written the last term. Which term 20 t20 okay 
otherwise you can say one two three four five six here no term is given that is called infinite ap infinite ap okay friends if the finite term last term is given then that if is called finite term if the last term is not given and it is called infinite ap okay friends so see what we should do in order to calculate the ap we should know only three things what are these number one you see first we should know the first term a a is equal to what next term is what common difference d is equal to what next term n is equal to what by knowing a d n first term common difference and n we can calculate what only because you can see if you were asked to find the nth term nth term of an ap in this case nth term of ap is not given you can find the nth term of ap by putting a formula d n n term of ap we can write it a plus n minus 1 into d this is friend what that nth term a plus n1 minus d t n suppose if you will take this 10 20 then here we can write a plus 20 minus 1 into d we must have given this value of a and d by putting this value of a and d we can calculate the 20 term or t term or t 20 from any given arithmetic progression is it right let us move ahead then another formula let us find uh, finding the sum of first nth term find the sum uh, find the sum of first nth term friends we know that the first term is a and common difference is d and n is equal to number of terms so the first term we are given common difference number of terms then we have to find the sum of sum of we can write sn sum of n numbers or n terms we can write n by 2 all into 2a 2 into first term 2a plus a minus sorry n minus 1 into d so friends see this is the formula s n n by 2 s n n by 2 2 a plus n minus 1 d this is called the sum of nth term on ap so it is number one formula we can reduce this formula to other way so here n by 2 this can be written a plus a and this can be written uh, plus n minus 1 into d so we, we split this a into a plus a you see what happened now this is one term so a is what we know that a is the first term so we can write it in the form of n by 2 so a is the first term so what is a plus n minus into d a plus n minus 1 into d matlab what this is called the last term so we can write it so what we are getting here we are getting here n whole into a plus l by 2 this is the another form the same formula but another format the same formula is written here but converted to another format so we can say uh, sum of n term n whole into first term plus last term by 2 let us do some problems regarding this So here we got what t1 is equal to a Dif uh, common difference common difference is equal to d and we should need a, uh, a d number 1 d 
number 3 we need n and we know that number 4 tn is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d and number 5 sn is equal to n by 2 2a plus n minus 1 into d so this is the formula we can write it this data we need in order to solve this problem to so find first let us do a, a question suppose we are given a p 2 4 6 uh, 8 10 like this in, in this question friends in this question we are asked to find find number one question find the 20th term number one question given find the 20th term number two question find the sum of first 20th term matlab here we are going to find tn 20th term is equal to what and sn is equal to 8 this is our questions tn or tn instead of n we can write here t20 and instead of s we can write also s20 is equal to what t20 and s20 are what let us see now let us see this question number one so in this case we know that a is equal to 2 d equal to what 4 minus 2 equal to 2 is it right d is equal to 2 so we can write tn t20 t20 is equal to a plus n minus 1 a instead of n this formula instead of a we can write a plus n minus 1 20 minus 1 into d d here 2 so what we are getting here we are getting 2 plus 19 into 2 that is 2 plus 38 is equal to 40 that is tn equal to 40 so in this case in, in this question we get tn uh, tn 40 means we are getting t20 is equal to 40 20 term in this series is 40 the 20 term in this series is 40 let us define the s20 Question number two. Uh, no, sorry, in this question we are going to find the SN. S20 is equal to what? As we know, A is equal to 2 and D was what? 4 minus 2 equal to 2 and N is equal to 20. So we can write S20 is equal to N by 2 means 20 by 2. Okay. 2A, two, 2 into A plus n minus 1 into d n 20 minus 1 into d here 2 so what we are getting 10 2 2 4 plus 19 into 2 so what we are getting 10 4 plus 38 what we are getting 10 into 42 that means 4 2 0 so this is the value of this is the value of what s20 s20 is equal to 4 10 0 so this is the s20 this is the another type of questions okay and in the this is the first part of this video and we got the two formulas tn is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d number one formula and the number two formula is find the sum of uh, some given number of terms or a tn or sn in this in that case sn is be taken n by 2 whole into 2a plus n minus 1 into d otherwise in the cert we can write n whole into a plus n l by 2 that means n by 2 is equal to or uh, n by 2 uh, bracketed first term plus last term okay this is all about today's video and in later part and the part 2 we will discuss the exercises okay bye